So YouTubers get paid when advertisers show ads before, during, and after their videos. And to understand how much sweet YouTube money you would make for 1000 views, first we need a basic understanding of how the whole system works. Let's imagine a viewer clicks on your latest video. Now, assuming your channel is monetized, which we'll talk a bit more about later, YouTube will probably show that viewer an advertisement. Usually it's for Grammarly. But just because this viewer sees that Grammarly ad doesn't necessarily mean that you, the creator, are going to get paid. Because unless a viewer watches an ad all the way to the end, watches for at least 30 seconds, or clicks on the link displayed somewhere within that ad, you don't actually get paid a single <laughs> cent. And obviously most ads are pretty unsexy, so most viewers don't do one of those three things I just mentioned, especially when it's like the 459th Grammarly ad they've seen. And so you don't get paid for most of the views that you get on YouTube. But luckily for us creators, some viewers find that writing's just not that easy. And so they do click on or watch this ad Ad, and when they do that, YouTube gets paid. Not us YouTubers yet, just YouTube get paid. And then YouTube gives a lukewarm 55% of that paycheck to you, the creator who made this video. Unless of course this video is actually a short. And in that case, YouTube will actually send you about 45%. What does YouTube do with the remaining money, I hear you ask? Well, the greedy bastards keep it all for themselves and spend it on weird bathroom accessories and submarine rides. With that out of the way, now we know how the system works, we can actually get into some numbers on how much you actually get paid on average for 1,000 views. So me and one of my editors, JV, begrudgingly spent our weekends putting together our own comprehensive study to answer this question once and for all. And when the dust settled, we were left with 83 individual YouTube channels, over 50 different niches. And I think that makes this video the world's most comprehensive video on how much money YouTubers actually make per 1,000 views. Did well, me. <laughs> but before I can reveal the exact numbers we found, you need to understand some basic YouTube terminology. First, RPM. This is revenue per miller, which means thousand, because apparently some dev thought he was real smart and decided to call it RPM instead of RPT. For example, if you have an RPM of $1 and you get 1,000 views, you're gonna make $1. If you have an RPM of $10, and you get a thousand views, you're gonna make $10. Now this is all relatively simple stuff, but where things get confusing is when people start conflating RPM and CPM. CPM is a similar stat, but it actually measures a completely different thing. CPM is the amount of money an advertiser pays to get a thousand views on their advertisement. But like we established earlier, not all views on your YouTube videos are going to lead to a view on an ad. And even when they do, you don't get to keep all of that money because YouTube takes a ridiculously large cut. For example, for example, on this channel, we made $6,000 in the last 28 days. We have an RPM of $6.10. So per thousand views, we tend to get $6.10, but our CPM is $18.13. And I'm telling you this, so next time you see some 14 year old guru in a rented Lamborghini bragging about all the YouTube money he's making because of how high his CPM is, just know that he's a dishonest prick and that's actually not how much money he's making. And the one last thing you need to know before we can actually dig into my study is that in order to make any money on YouTube at all, you actually need to be part of the YouTube partner program, which requires you to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months, or 1,000 subscribers and 10 million public shorts views in the last 90 days. Okay, so now we understand how the system works, what RPM is, and that it is not CPM, and the requirements you need. Let's dive into the data. So let's sort the data by highest to lowest. And as you can see, I've separated the RPM here for shorts and long form. So we'll get into shorts in a second. The channel making the least amount of money is getting 62 cents per 1000 views. The channel we studied that's getting the most amount of money is getting $37.67 per 1,000 views. That's wild. Now, the average RPM for long form videos across all of the different channels we studied here was $6.68. And this is in US dollars, by the way. And the median across this study is $5.04. But remember, this is just for long form content. And what's interesting is that these numbers change drastically when you look at channels that get their views from YouTube shorts. If we sort the shorts RPM by highest to lowest, we can see the lowest performing channels getting an RPM of about about two cents, while the highest one is getting about 10 cents. Now, unfortunately, we don't have as much data 
on shorts channels as we do on long form channels, but still this is a bit over 25 channels. So I'd say this is relatively accurate. Now, when it comes to the average amount being earned, we can see that the average RPM for YouTube shorts is six cents, while the median, which we can calculate manually here, is about six cents as well. I also tried to calculate RPM for live streams. Now we had a lot less data on this, so I'm not gonna say in any way that this is conclusive, but if you are interested, these are the RPM numbers for live streams. And as you can see, they differ pretty substantially which is pretty interesting because all these channels here are actually in very similar niches. They're all gaming channels. The thing I want you to take away from this video and this study is not the average numbers I just shared with you. It's that RPM differs significantly depending on the niche you're in. Mr. $37.67 doesn't give a crap that the median RPM for all channels is $5. Average does not affect him whatsoever. So the last thing I wanna do in this video is share how you can actually strategically increase your RPM. And this stuff can be so powerful. When my friend started doing this, he had 10,000 subscribers in a relatively average RPM niche. He implemented this stuff and started making over $70,000 per year. First tip, probably the most boring one, but we'll get out of the way. You wanna create videos that will attract an audience who have money to spend. The more disposable cash viewers of your videos have or are likely to spend on products or services related to your videos, the higher your RPM will be because the more advertisers will wanna put their ads on your videos. I love my money. I love just taking it, dumping it in the toilet. But let me give you some actual examples of this. Now this channel right here is a gaming channel and for a gaming channel, he has a relatively high RPM of $3.75. Compare that RPM to the RPM from this channel here, a little over $1. Now interestingly, this channel is also a gaming channel. So what's the difference between these two channels The results in this channel making three times more money per thousand views. Well, this channel focuses on Roblox content and not to stereotype here, but the viewers of Roblox content usually are pretty young or if they do have credit cards, but they're still watching Roblox content, I'm sorry, but you probably don't have that much disposable income. <laughs> On the other hand, this gaming channel creates content about a game called Steel Division, which is a pretty intense real-time strategy game based on the world wars. And because of the nature of that game, it tends to attract an older, more mature audience who, as a result, probably have more disposable income. So advertisers are willing to pay far more to put their ads on this video than on old mate Roblox. On the other hand though, our top performing channel in this study makes 10 times more money than our Steel Division channel here. And this channel is in the Amazon FBA space, which is essentially like a niche within the make money online market. Now, not only is it likely that on average, make money online content attracts an older audience than gaming content, the type of person who's watching a how to make money online video probably promised to make you millions of dollars overnight. And so viewers of those videos are like, well, yeah, just take my life savings because I'm gonna make it back five times as much in the next seven days, according to you. And so this audience splashes around money far less frugally than say the audience of most gaming videos. And so advertisers are willing to pay a premium to place their ads in front of them. Now, another factor to look at is the location of those viewers. Here we can see one of our poorest performing channels with an RPM of 62 cents. The main reason for this horrendous RPM is the fact that this channel is Brazilian. And because the cost of living and wages are lower in Brazil, Brazilians tend to have less money to spend on products or services compared to say viewers in the US. And so advertisers are less likely to wanna to spend advertising dollars on Brazilians. Racists. Now, another way to increase your RPM is to watch your profanity. When you swear in your videos, particularly early on, advertisers are less likely to want to put their ads on your videos, and so your RPM decreases. Another factor at play is video length. Longer videos make more money. And the most obvious reason for this is if your videos are over eight minutes in length, you can place multiple adverts within the videos. Now, again, you need to be monetized to do this, but if you are monetized, you can come to your YouTube studio and then come across to here. And instead of clicking on the pencil icon like normal, we're gonna click on the monetization icon. It's gonna take us to a screen that looks like this. You can also access a similar screen when you're uploading your video. And down here, you can see that I've checked to show ads before my video and after my video, but there's also an option to show ads during my video. 
If I click on this check mark and click on manage mid rolls, you can see that I can come up here and click on place automatically and YouTube's going to place ads throughout my video automatically. Or I can move this little play head around here and then click on ad break and it will manually add an ad break at that time. I can come up to here, maybe add another ad break. And then once I've added a couple, I can click continue in here, hit save. And now if viewers go through my entire video and watch multiple ads, I'm going to get paid more money per viewer and my RPM will go up. Another thing you can do to increase your RPM is to try to limit the amount of copyrighted content you use in your videos, even if it is fair use. Because sometimes the owners of that content will come along and claim your videos. Those claims will usually result in you not making money from the videos anymore. For example, this channel here is a gaming channel, but compared to most of our other gaming channels, you can see that it has a pretty pitiful RPM. And the reason for this is that like 80% of the videos on this channel have all been bombarded with copyright claims, some of which are fraudulent, but it's hard to figure out which ones are fraudulent and which ones aren't when you are actually using copyrighted content in your videos. <laughs> Won't do that one again. Now, another thing you can do, you can see in my analytics here, my RPM actually fluctuates pretty significantly depending on the time of year. Now, usually RPM goes up in November, December because advertisers are trying to get people to buy random crap they're never ever gonna need in the name of Christmas. And so if you're creating a bunch of extra videos and it's October, sometimes it might be worthwhile holding out on posting those extra videos until November and December because you'll make more money from them then. Also, this one is massive. Unless you want to be so poor that when you walk past a duck pond, the ducks throw bread to you, usually it's best to focus on long form content. You can just see it right here. The RPM for shorts versus the RPM for long form content is not even comparable. Sure, you might be able to get more views on shorts, but you're gonna have to get a drastic amount of views to even come close to the amount of money you'd make from long form content. But now, probably the most effective way for increasing your RPM, and this is the same method my friend uh, who I was talking about earlier who had 10K subscribers making 70K a year used, make money in ways other than YouTube AdSense. For example, create a product or service that you can sell around your YouTube channel. Do brand deals and sponsorships. If people aren't approaching you, sometimes you can go out there and pitch them. I remember one of the first brand deals I got was I had a Star Wars channel back in the day. I saw this random canvas printing company. I was like, well, we could team up. They could just make, you know, cool Star Wars prints and I could talk to my audience about it. I cold email them and a few weeks later, they're sponsoring me. And you can also sell other people's products for commissions. So if you go to like a piece of software that you use all the time or that someone in your niche might use, like Shopify, for example, you can come down to the bottom and use Usually, once we get there, you will find in their footer a link for affiliates. You can go to this link, then you can start selling that product to your audience. It won't cost them any extra money, but when they buy through your link, you will get a percentage of that. But overall, throughout everything I've looked at, one thing has remained consistent, regardless of the niche, regardless of the content type, regardless of the monetization model, and that is more views equals more money. Not always at the same rate or ratio, but for example, this channel here that we were bashing on earlier that has the most pathetic RPM of this entire study actually makes more money than most of the channels in this study overall, simply because this channel has over 800 million views at this point. So if you want to learn one of the best ways to get more views, in my humble opinion, you should click on the video on screen. It's going to help grow your channel. It's going to help you monetize and hopefully once you're monetized or if you're already monetized it'll help you make more money check it out